it's strange how the world operates and you become what you really didn't want to. The NJs has been in my family since the 1930s. There was a gentleman by the name of Frank Pease at his photography studio upstairs. As it turns out, he kept boxes and boxes and boxes of pictures. He always strove for the most flattering shot. Sometimes I don't suppose he had the most flattering subjects. I do remember him saying something like, you need to be serious about this because this is marriage. And it sounds kind of crazy, but I'm still learning about my wife after 30 some years. I was probably seven, eight, or nine. My grandmother braided my hair so tightly that I could barely squint my eyes. I was an empty nester, but it didn't last long. That's when the grandchildren came along. My mom and I would always go back and forth, and I might have looked at her and just said, no, I'm not going to do that, and he took the picture. I did want to get out of the port. There was this great big world out there, and I wanted to be part of it. A lot of people would say, I'm glad to be getting out of this town and we'll never come back. And it's funny how they came back to start a family. The making of things is always going to go to the place where they can be made the cheapest. That is why the port has been drained of a lot of jobs that we used to have. I don't feel progress is movement alone. Their idea of moving forward is to destroy the very thing that I feel is important. Fun to be an American, fun to be a Laportean, and that is what's carved on the bottom of my gravestone, so help me God.